Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Labarkatory Challenge! Here in The Sims 4, with quite a bit of custom content and several surprises waiting for this magical month of mayhem, when we are going to be mixing and mashing the genes of many an unusual animal. And today is a very special day, because to continue the magic-themed mixes we've been doing, we have kind here and Kylie is about to make a discovery in the attic of the new home that her owners have just moved into. They are all away for the day, off to school and off to work, and she has been following her clever little nose all around the house, searching out its brand new scents and secrets. And Kylie is a very unique dog because look at how cute she is! Oh my gosh, you guys! I was just kind of playing around trying to figure out what kind of dog we should breed the mysterious magic one with, and we ended up get with a mixed breed Lhasa, Opso, and Giant Schnauzer that looked like this, and I just immediately fell in love with her. We have normally done purebred dogs for all of these challenges, but every now and then I like to try something a little different, in case you couldn't tell. And I have really fallen in love with the look of Kylie, because just look at her! I never thought to even mix a Lhasa Opso and a Giant Schnauzer, Schnauzer even. So that is definitely a combo that you may be seeing in the future. But I, I mean, just look at her eyebrows, and look at her little tummy. Just everything about her and her fur. It's so cute! But Kylie has been uh, sniffing around, searching the house, and she, as the unique mixed breed that she is, has discovered something hiding in the closet. So upstairs in the attic closet, there was the rattling of bones, and out tumbled a skeleton dog! Look at how freaking cool this is! This is from Kalino's Halloween special release from last year, a fantastic custom content that she made. I am still blown away by its existence and the way that she managed to get everything working to the point where you can actually see the shadow of the skeleton dog matches the shadow of the skeleton. How amazing is that? I absolutely love it. The detail, the level of effort, the level of modding that had to go into this was probably pretty darn hard. And the results are something that I just really love. And I'm really hoping that I can use on more of my magical Sims in the future. So out from the closet in the attic, tumbles a pile of bones that quickly magically re-knit themselves together, forming Icy the Skeleton Dog after Icy the Ice Prince. Thank you so much for leaving some fun comments on our previous videos. And uh, Icy here actually does not happen to shock Kylie. Because the other thing I was thinking when we created Kylie was she does not look like a dog who is quickly surprised. She looks like a dog who could take a lot of things in stride. And so I'm really happy that we have her with us. Um, and I really think that as this skeleton falls out of the closet in front of her, she would just regard it very calmly. And thus, their day-to-day -day life together would begin. With Icy here constantly playing all sorts of music with his bones, I could just imagine that he likes to wag his tail up against his ribs, maybe does a little dance. Who knows, maybe when he spins around, he's able to like make his bones kind of come apart like you see in cartoons and then come back together. He's quite a magical creature, and so magical that eventually, as time goes by, and love begins to blossom between them, we actually are able to get puppies from them somehow. I'm sure a lot of magic was involved, but one of the fun things about breeding with the skeleton dog is I have no idea what breed it is. I covered up the screen when creating this dog, so I don't know what kind of breed it is. I don't know what its fur pattern is. I know nothing about the genes, the genetics hiding in Icy's bones. So whatever pattern Icy happens to pass on to any potential pups is a complete mystery to me. Whatever the Icy as the breed is, is a complete mystery to me. 
and we're gonna be in for some big surprises. So let's go ahead and get the first letter started. Are you guys ready? Oh my gosh. Okay, so as usual, if you guys would like to become one of our animals added into our Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and we could add you in so that you could become a skeleton puppy. How dramatically cool is that? But all right, so we're gonna take Kylie and we're actually going to go ahead and we are going to cross her with the unknown genes of Icy the Skeleton Dog for the very first time. So here we go. Wait. 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 What? Wait, what? Icy. Icy. Did you inherit the like super dog look? Icy, are your jeans hiding some? Are you a superhero dog in a former life? Are you the bones of some sort of superhero dog? I have never gotten this pattern ever in literally hundreds of episodes of doing these crossbreeds, mixed breed challenges through our random pets laboratory with over 100 dogs that we had bred up in our uh, 100th laboratory dog celebration, like more than 100 dogs there. And all of the ones that we've ever done, I have never gotten this. Are you telling me that Icy is hiding superhero genes? My jaw is literally on the floor. This just turned into a big, like, mystery. Is this a murder mystery or did some superhero just leave the bones of their, like, superhero canine companion in an attic? I feel like I need to write a book now. <laughs> All right, welcome to Fluttershy Snowbell. So uh, Flutter, there we go, Fluttershy. Can I fit the whole name? No, but I can get Fluttershy in here. So Fluttershy Snowbell, welcome, welcome to the family. I'm so glad you've been enjoying our mix and matches. You are one of the most shocking creations I have ever had. I have no idea if this is gonna be a big dog or small dog because we do actually have a big dog with our skeleton. I can tell at least from the bones, it'll be big. And we have our small dog with our Lhasa Apso giant schnauzer mix. But I had no idea we were gonna get this coloration. That's amazing. Uh, you can't produce milk, my dear, despite being amazingly different than any dog I've ever had before. But you can be a friendly, adventurous, stubborn little one. And I am so freaking excited to see the siblings now. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, all right, all right. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? <gasps> so cute! Just like Kylie. Oh, I love this coloration. It's just adorable. Okay, so this is actually going to be Latte. So the Unicorn Latte Squad, thank you very much for your comments in our previous videos. I'm glad you enjoyed the ears. And you are a friendly, stubborn, independent little one who perhaps is descended from a superhero dog whose bones got put in a closet by some forgetful descendant of a superhero. Kind of hilarious. But all right, let's go ahead and randomize up again. I really want to see what we're going to get. Another superhero pup! This is irrefutable evidence that Icy was actually a superhero's dog. This is amazing. Wow. All right. And may I present to you guys Cheryl. So Cheryl, welcome, welcome. I am very glad that you've enjoyed the bunnies that we've been mixing and matching in the past. You cannot produce a wool, but you can be a hunter who is a sleuth and a troublemaker. Hmm, I think we've got a new generation of superheroes born in here, which I really did not expect, like, whatsoever. All right, let's see, let's see. And let's come over here and get another one born now that I have the new name. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> a family of superhero puppies. I am so proud. Oh my gosh. All right, Ariana, welcome, welcome. I have no idea what you guys are going to do, but you are clearly all born with superpowers. We have a troublemaker who is jumpy and very playful. So I hope these are superhero dogs and not super villain dogs, but who knows, who knows what we will end up, uh, end up deciding. All right, let's go ahead and add in, I mean, it's in their future. <gasps> 
Beautiful. Oh, Kylie, you have such adorable puppies. <gasps> Kylie, you have such adorable puppies. Oh, you guys. Welcome to little O'Hara. After Mackenzie O'Hara. And I'm so glad you've enjoyed the kittens, Mackenzie. All right, we've got a loyal, smart little sleuth. I think he may be able to keep his siblings in the line and make sure that they are able to work on, uh, you know, being superheroes instead of supervillains. And I think we're down to our last puppy. So let's come and see. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> so cute. Okay, we have ended off with another one who looks just like Kylie. And this is actually going to be Riley, which rhymes with Kylie. So that's a really fun name to have. And you, my dear, are a stubborn sleuth who is smart. So I'm saying, you guys, that we have actually ended up with a superhero team of puppers. Like, I cannot look at these guys and think anything different. We have indeed ended up with a puppy superhero team, kind of fitting for Halloween, I suppose. I hope they all grow up well. And speaking of growing up, let's go ahead and age them up. <gasps> so small, so cute. Okay, I'm so curious about their dad now because I randomized everything about him. Okay, so we have Fluttershy grown up into a small, superhero dog with who knows what kind of superpowers okay all right all right are you guys all gonna look at your mom because the thing is i don't know what any of the features are on icy i randomized everything that i could without like peeking i covered it up so that i wouldn't see but let's see what latte grows up into <gasps> a big dog latte look at how cute you are oh i love it isn't that just precious, you guys? Wow, I love the ears. I am such a fan of the big puppy ears. Oh boy. All right, so we already have some great variation. Let's see what's going to happen with all of these superhero puppies. Cheryl. Oh my gosh, Cheryl. She's so fluffy. Look at her fluff. Oh, awesome. So that must mean I'm thinking the dad has smooth fur then. If he was, you know, had b muscles and bones and fur on his body. Uh, well, he has bones. This is, I'm thinking, what the dad would look like. Because I think that Cheryl takes after mom, for sure, on the fur type. So we're getting closer hints at what our mysterious skeleton dog actually looks like. If he had his fur still. Ariana, let's see what you look like, my dear. <gasps> oh, that's so cool those big ears and that really cool little face i just see superhero written all over you can you actually change the oh my gosh you can change the colors you guys i don't think that the superhero siblings want to match i think we'll end off by uh, changing their colors and just making it a little bit of fun uh o'hare let's go ahead and grow you up first little guy oh so cute oh so cute He's ready to go and be a loyal little pupper. He looks like he belongs in a remake of Lady and the Tramp, personally. That's what I think. Oh, he's adorable. And then little Riley. Oh, look at you. I am such a big fan of those ears. All right, so we ended up with three normal puppers of varying sizes. And then we ended up with three superhero puppers who I think inherited their father's superpowers. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to randomize their color just like one, 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 one across the board to see what they would end up as. Just to say, because you know, when you have the Power Rangers and some of the other superheroes, just to say they have different colors. Because Power Rangers had different colors. I watched Power Rangers growing up. I was quite into them. So we'll just change everything once and let that be their color. One, 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 one. <gasps> that actually turned out really cool. Oh, look at you. I was a little worried about that, but that actually turned out really cool for Fluttershy. And then on Cheryl, she's inherited her superpowers. One, 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 one. Also really cool. <laughs> I have no idea how this is turning out so awesome, but it is. And finally, Ariana, she's inherited some superpowers. One, 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 one. 
Oh boy. So two of the girls kind of went with the pinks. They're like the pink rangers. And then Fluttershy went with like camouflage brown and looks amazing. They all look amazing. Superpowers or not. And I have to say for being a surprise hiding in a attic of a new family home, this was pretty awesome. Really pretty awesome. Good job, Kylie. Follow that nose. But all right, so I see, we'll go ahead. I'm so curious. We're gonna just take a little peek and see what did I see look like in his previous life? Yep, there's the mystery solved. He was a superhero's companion, a superhero's canine companion. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. I have no idea what he's doing in the, the closet attic, but there you have it. I suppose that his mystery is just going to continue on down through the line. But you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this quite shocking turn of events. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Do please leave a like for our little superheroes and of course for our little sweet puppers. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.